Okay, my name is Tim. I hope you're still with me because you're going to listen to some crazy Kubernetes controller stuff in the next five minutes. I'm going to take you on a journey towards horizontally scalable Kubernetes clusters. So what is actually the problem? Kubernetes controllers don't scale horizontally. It's a fact. It doesn't happen. But we see even more large-scale controller deployments these days, and they're becoming much more widespread, so we need to fix it. What's my idea? Let's apply some sharding patterns from distributed databases to Kubernetes controllers, because they have been proven since years, well applied in many distributed databases. Let's imagine a simple controller. It reconciles some foo objects, runs in some pod, and it does some leader election. And there we have the problem. The leader election is supposed to um, ensure there's only one active controller instance at a time. So if we add another controller instance, it will be in the passive mode. This is active passive HA. This is not horizontal scaling because there's only one active controller instance at a time to prevent any conflicting actions. We can do fast failovers with this uh, topology, but we can't scale up the capacity of the controller. So if we get even more objects, we are still limited by the single instance. We can only scale it up vertically. So what was my idea in the study project? Let's partition all the available objects using labels. That's Kubernetes native. We all know labels. And then our instances can use label selectors to only watch a subset of all the available objects. And then we add uh, another component, which is called a sharder. It watches the leases you see down below, which all the individual components maintain, so we know which instances are in the system. And then it can assign the objects or a portion of the set of objects to individual instances. And with this, we can apply many patterns from distributed databases, like uh, from Bigtable, which uses this lease mechanism inside, or Cassandra, which uses consistent hashing under the hood to assign the objects. And I have to conclude that's a perfect match. Um, the co Kubernetes controllers can be sharded horizontally with this approach, and it is a controller native implementation. So everything we know from Kubernetes, the API, the labels, and so on, all the controller clients don't have to change for this. There's no fancy pops up mechanism happening around that. And uh, I have implemented this in controller runtime to try this approach out in my study project. And you can find out the full implementation right here in this link. There's even an entire thesis with, I don't know, 50 pages about this for my master's studies. So if you want to check out the details, feel free. There is even an example operator which uses the implementation and some results for demoing that it's working. With that, happy KubeCon week.